Go get your man. And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. If whoever's going through whatever they're going through, why they so calm? Why the tweeting? Why the spaces? Why the... And I'm going to just say this, and this to my peers, my friends, anybody listening that don't know me, anything is like, whatever reality you got, you living in it. Like, own your reality, own your life, and own what the f*** you got going on because it's really real life. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not hiding from nothing. I'm not running from nothing. I'm not, you get what I'm saying? My reality is my reality, though. Like, I look up at the ceiling every night, like, verb. I never expect me to have this conversation with you. I know it's left, but you feel me? I just felt like I was going to get it. So I'm going to catch a verb space. I wake up in the, I be staring at the ceiling at 3 in the morning. I wake up and run to the bathroom and throw up. Not because I ate bad food. Not because of, cause of the reality I, I, I'm living in. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Um, like, you know, like, you a nigga wake up and, like, be paralyzed to wake up and be, it's no different. It's no different, you feel me? This is my reality. What like the one place I'm not gonna run from is the place I was raised at. That's why mm. my reality is you might never see me on a stage ever again. Mm. But I'm not running from not from home. If anybody could reach me, if I might have to pop up and it might be a book page or it might be a I'm around. And that's just me being one thousand, my dog. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. I got my guy with me. Showtime SP, the nobody that knows bodies. Bow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, um, in the midst of things, everything going on, you know, there's a lot of subjects going on. There's a couple events going on. But on a more serious note, in the last week, yeah. Um, yeah. Battle Rapper, Sue Surf. Was arrested. Uh, he was arrested for getting hit with a Rico, you know, and then um, another charge of firearms by a convicted felon. And he's definitely in some shit right now. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, I, it, it was bad to see somebody that we look up to and that we really rock with and that we watched his battles for a while and seen him start to turn himself around. End up on Fox News, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I and, and here's the thing, and I want I want I want I want to get your opinion. I know there's a lot of people who's like, yo, you know, um, this, this I see two sides of it. I see you know, pray for surf, hope he gets through it. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be rough. And then there's the other side that's like, yo, uh, he 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 knew what he was doing and things like that. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? I do. Trust me. I, I see both sides of the, of the coin. But, you know, when somebody has a family, somebody has a daughter, you know what I'm saying? And you see them trying to make certain changes in their life, moving to Atlanta and shit like that. I don't know who did what and who did whatever, but did whatever the case is. But the overall question is, what's Battle Rap going to be like without Sue Surf? Before he left, he was like, he might not ever battle again. And when I spoke to him, he kind of knew that the walls were closing in. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he knew. He, he was very aware of his situation. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know that it would be so soon that it would bam. But once you hear the word feds, once you hear the word Rico getting thrown around, it definitely gets a little ugly. But anyway, what's your thoughts, man? Um, I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. You know, prayers go out to Sir's family. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that, you know, they get the, 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 the type of aid that they, you know, that they so rightfully deserve. Mm -hmm. um, as far as Surf is concerned and his battle rap status, He's considered a legend. He's considered a legendary status. He, he proved a lot of people wrong. You know, if this was if this was two 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 years ago, oh. the 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 feeling wouldn't be as as strong as it is now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it, that's that's no that, that's gonna be no slack, no slight or slack. Um, you know, we appreciate everything that you know you've done for the culture. We appreciate everything you've done. But there was that part of his life that you and I personally knew, you know, that he was trying to get out of or was trying to get away from. But for some reason, it just kept happening. Right. And the only thing you can do is you just tell him, hey, man, we'll be here waiting for you if you get out, you know, right. when you get out. Right. Um, a lot of the things look shaky on, you know, from the fan standpoint because, you know, it's all speculation. I can understand. Mm -hmm. A lot of people was hating. Um, stop. 
it's, it, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a grown man, it's a black man that's going to prison. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants that. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Stub toe, lose your charger, something like that. But jail, I would never wish that upon any black man. But you know the thing, um, the thing is, right, and I want, I want to um, convey this message because, you know, we got a good contingent of people who watch this content. Mm. Um, besides, like, you know, my, my, you know, rights gang, things like that, entertainment and things like that, the only gang I claim is civilian, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a civilian. I go to work, I go home, I take care of my family. I don't want, because there's only one end to this street shit. There's two ends, two endings. You know what I'm saying? And ain't none neither of one them, of them is none good. None of them is good. Neither you know one of them is good. Like I've seen this happen a thousand times, if not once. And I'm not saying in, consp in consideration to what he's got going on, mm. but young black, young minority get themselves wrapped up in this shit, and this is how it ends. I watched um, Math Hoffa versus Geechee Gotti, mm. the, the third round again. Yep. You, you know, know what I'm they, saying? You know, he did that big clip. I did watch it. I, went, I went and watched it on the app. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it does resonate and it does hit a little bit different because when you think about it, right, with these gangs, the way the feds is working, you represent something, you throw it up, you scream it, yep. you know, you're part of, you're, you're basically making yourself part of something. So when the investigations come, well, you said that you was part of it. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And that's the thing. Uh, with Battle Rap, without Sue Surf, uh, Battle Rap is going to always continue to go on. I yeah. feel like, you know, the events is happening. Back to back to back to back to back, uh, you know they they breeding trying to breed new stars and breed new people. Will you get another Sue Surf? No, you know what I'm saying. Like, as far as from the charisma aspect, nah. the, the 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 shit talking. Your know, Surf was like one of the only niggas that could be on a three battle losing streak and get in the face off and still talk his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he was there was very few that could do that. Most people when they lose, you're like man, we don't hear shit from you. You lost. He was able to still go out there and charismatically talk his way through face offs. When he wasn't even winning at we, the time. We know the you know the battle rap algorithm better than a lot of these cats. I do. You already know it's it's, it's three main names that you going. Uh, it's like three or four main names that you hear when you put that name in the title. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. Oh yeah, they're gonna click that. Yeah. Sue Surf is number one on that list. It can, literally Sue Surf could be picking his nose. It's somebody like, why this nigga Surf picking his nose? You could just type in Sue yeah. Surf on that feed, my niggas guy. Niggas made a lot. It, listen. Niggas done made a lot of money off of them. Off, with of, Sue off Surf, of them spaces. So, Not to mention spaces. Space call. Come on, the clips niggas with the spaces. Niggas made a lot of bread. So you know what I'm saying? Doing things like asking for impact letters and doing things like that. Oh, like, niggas man. really should be Do that. Shit Do it's that. Like, you Could niggas have. made a lot of money with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and he done made leagues a lot of money too, and he's made himself a lot of money at the same time. Same I man. do think it takes that super, super star, that top level guy away, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's not about battle rap, you know what I'm saying? It's about regular life now, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because to, this is the thing where I feel like it's the most, uh, the most personally effective to him is because he's used to living a certain lifestyle at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like. You done got your shit up, you done put music out, put albums out, you got a whole album with Mozzie, you get money, you battling, you getting big bread every show, you go from that to boom, this is your reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, this I, is where you're at. I mean, I, I think of, I, think of uh, I don't like harping on it, but mm -hmm. you know, it makes me think of those tragic endings to the movies. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Scarface got his head blown off, but he was, where was he at? Mm -hmm. In the pool yes. of this multi-million dollar house. You know what I'm saying? Kane was literally about to move out the hood. They was had the boxes in the car. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like there was there was some type of progression towards that end, but yet they came they came looking for. Him. And you know why I don't really subscribe to a lot of the street shit and gang shit is because these niggas always telling each other. How do you think he got there? Like his Rico indictment, from what I read, has nine other people on it. Yeah, he didn't get himself there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. A lot of the times what these niggas will do is somebody will get locked up, they want you to get a lawyer, they want you to give them money, mm -hmm. and you be like, nah, and then guess what they're going to do? They're going to go tell. They ain't got, I'm about to say, if they ain't got no lawyer they or go they ain't got no money to get out, they're going to ask go for that box of chicken and that them. cigarette. And so, since, and so me, I personally know I don't want to put my life in the hands of somebody else who, if we ain't fucking around, they're going to tell them, I don't want to be in that position. So that's why I go to work, 
and I bring my ass home. I'm about to say, this is it. This is it for us. Yes, <laughs> I'm about to say, I, the, uh, me it, and mine. His, his charges are one count of racketeering conspiracy, max penalty 20 years. Mm. One count of possession of firearms by a convicted felon, max mm. penalty is 10 years. Mm. Um, he went for a, a court hearing last week. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he it was short. He spoke to the judge. The judge told he told the judge that he had hired counsel. So you know things will continue from there, and um, hopefully you know. It, 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 See, but you know, uh, this is another thing. This last thing I want to add. You know, the racketeering thing can get pushed to towards the uh, the actual offender. It might if, if well, you know what I'm saying. Here's the thing. Was it certain? Here's the thing I want to address. Right when it comes to not just his case, mm -hmm. but all these rappers that have been hit with Ricos, mm -hmm. zero have got bail. Yeah, no. Hood Rich Pablo Juan, no bail. I don't know. Uh, YFN Lucci, no bail. No Gunna, no bail. Mm -hmm. Thug, no bail. no bail. They use this Rico as a blanket to, yep. to, to, to basically tie you in. You, 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 and you yep. were doing this shit together. So now you're an organization. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And now you become an organization. Now it's easier. This is the same shit they use with John Gotti. The mob, they created the Rico in the 70s to stop, cause they, to the, stop the mob. Right, because right. John Gotti was the Teflon Don. Mm -hmm. He kept getting away with all of the crime. Mm -hmm. So they had to create something. Gotti didn't touch him. Gotti he didn't, didn't do it. I, you know hey, I but since he didn't do it, we have to create something that's going to encapsulate them. And, this, and now they're using this Rico heavy. And yeah. I know niggas, man. I ain't gonna hold you, man. My brother's in jail, and uh, he'll be out in about another year or so. And he said there's niggas in jail who would rather fight a whole murder charge than to fight a Rico. Because it's so dead. Because the thing is with the feds, when they come to get you, they already got you. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very rare. They, they do their work. They do all their homework. There's two cases that start with ours that you can't beat. Just you saying. saying? I'm just saying. saying. <laughs> Oh, no. The problem is with that shit, man. Like I said, the only people I've, I've only seen a few people effectively beat the feds. I seen Irv Gotti and Irv Gotti. That's the but one guess one. what? It cost them eleven million dollars yep. to say they didn't launder one million. And so is that really a win? And they lost their label. When is marriage? Oh uh, well, he was already on some bullshit but anyway. But he lost his label. <laughs> uh, it, it got bad for him. Yeah. But uh, I will say this, man. If one person gets this message, man. Like, go to work. Take it. They, the streets is a short stop, man. What else you got? Nas told you a long time ago the streets don't love you. Hope told you a long time ago the streets don't love you. Love nobody. Don't love nobody. So your loyalty and your pleasure, your loyalty is for you and your yours. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. That's what you can control. Mm -hmm. But um, what does that say for battle rap? Battle rap is of course going to move on. What does that say for Tay Rock? Tay Rock, man, I feel for you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Gun titles won't be gun titles but you got chess you got right that, there you know we gotta get these two the, in order for the is battle rap over because of suit no no it has to live on uh -huh. so that let's just say this lives on long enough that he does make a return i don't mind seeing a gray-haired white t surf i'm just saying it would be dope to see that i mean right. you, know, you know what i'm saying anything's possible uh -huh. but um, shit, he can do a Skype call for all I care. I don't care. As long as I'm knowing he good, battle rappers still gonna move on. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and, and, and as far as a big fan that I am, oh, that's the way to go out, though, on top. Or you get, you, you get, those who can't, whoever said that 